Alright, let's face it. You've been playing Zeppelin Wars for a long time now. You might even be level 100. You're pro. But you've amassed thousands of kills, and you've probably made a couple people rage quit. You may think you know it all. Know all the tricks, know all the techniques. But I'm here to tell you, you might be missing out on some pretty cool stuff. What are those techniques? Well, let me show you. Most of these techniques you can use in every game mode. While some game modes have specific techniques applicable to them, this video will be going over all the techniques that can be used in every game mode. And at the very end, I'll show some of my favorite game mode specific techniques. Now, you might be wondering if these techniques are hogwash. I use these techniques personally, and it's gotten me to, well, you know, 20,000 kills. So I think it's safe to say these techniques work. Now let's waste no more time and let's get straight into them. Starting off with a rather basic one, you can auto load buttons in the settings. Now we all know that when you die, you have to wait three seconds to respawn. Wait for the GUI to load, and if you want to switch to a weapon, wait for the buttons to activate. What if I were to tell you that in the settings, there are options that allow you to bypass these setbacks? There's these two settings called Loadout Auto Select and Loadout Class Hover Select. Enabling these will disable the animations for the GUI and automatically select any gun just by hovering your mouse over it. This is a much faster way of spawning in and can be useful when you need to defuse a bomb quickly. When spawning in, always attack with your melee weapon first to remove any bugs with it later on. There's a common bug that most people don't know exists. When you use a weapon for the first time, there's a chance that when you draw it and use it immediately, it will activate the weapon but not actually swing. When you spawn in, just equip your weapon and use it to get rid of this bug. Later on, when you really need your melee, that animation will be working correctly. Reloading messes up an attack animation. Zeppelin Wars guns have animations when reloading, but these animations do not stop when you switch to a different item. This is especially hurtful when using melee weapons because instead of using the attack animation, it uses the reload animation, completely off-centering your weapon's attack. This is especially noticeable with the Cutlass. However, Machete's animation is so simple that it's relatively unaffected by this bug. This bug will affect your gameplay, but I found that using Machete is a workaround for it. Jumping allows you to move faster. Roblox's physics engine is wonky to say the least. While standing on a moving object, your character moves with that object, the Zeppelin included. However, when you jump, the object moves from beneath you, including the Zeppelin. This means that your character will be moved quite a bit. You can actually use this to your advantage by jumping the opposite direction the Zeppelin is moving. Here's a comparison between walking normally and jumping. Now, on the other side of the coin, this will negatively affect you if you are jumping in the direction the Zeppelin is moving. In that case, do not jump, just walk normally. Most gun barrels are long enough to stick through a doorway or around a corner. This allows you to shoot others and not be shot at. This is most noticeable with rifles, the double barrel, and the superposed. It allows you to shoot around these pillars while remaining behind cover. However, if you are fighting an expert marksman, then you must be careful when you reload, for your arm will stick out of it. Simply zoom in your camera to bring your body fully behind the pillar and return to your original stance when the gun is reloaded. If you are fighting someone that is incredibly skilled with a rifle, they will shoot your arm that pokes out. But if you do this, you will not be shot because your arm won't stick out. Reloading does not require you to have the gun equipped. Every time you go to repair, defuse, or attack with a melee, always reload beforehand even if you are missing just one bullet. This is mainly because there's no reason not to really. You can do something on top of reloading, so might as well do it. Now, you may be perceptive enough to point out that, hey, just a minute ago, you said that reloading messes up melee attacks, so why would I want to do that? Great question. The answer to that is, you should always use your melee only when you are reloading. Why use your mace when you have a shotgun that can easily one-shot kill in the area a mace doesn't even kill? The reloading animation messes up your melee animation, and that's bad. But it's better than not having bullets to use, so you really just have to fight through it. Every time you walk by an ammo box, give it a quick repair or a quick smack. You might as well check if it needs repaired. Sometimes ammo can be damaged but give no signs of being so. 
This happens quite a lot, and you'll see me doing this often too. Ammo can sustain up to 100 damage without showing any signs of being damaged, like smoking. So whenever you walk by an ammo box, just give it a quick repair. It takes 3 seconds out of your time, and you also collect ammo or nails while doing so. It takes only one light bomb to deal around 350 damage to an ammo, so it will help you in your games. In dogfighting, you can press E and turn your camera to turn faster than you normally would if your plane was on. In this instance, I use the fighter plane as an example, but really, this is best used with torpedo planes and slower planes. You can still see a difference here though. Whenever jumping down from somewhere, always use your parachute. Obviously, equipping your parachute slows your descent. This allows you to cover as much ground as possible whenever traveling across a zeppelin, such as jumping from a tank roof. You can also do cool jumps from the main deck to an AA opening if the zeppelin is on autopilot, such as here. If you need to reload your gun, check to see if there's an ammo box nearby. If you are not at max ammo, you can collect ammo from an ammo box, which also refills your clip. This allows you to get a full clip in less than a second. If you are using a single reload type gun, it gets better. You can reload only one bullet, making your max ammo not full and allowing you to collect ammo, which also refills your current clip. This is kind of overpowered because it completely undermines why you reload. You can do it super quickly, like there's no point in reloading. The number one spot to put your bomb is above a turbine, especially high already. Putting it here allows you to easily defend it with the opposite AA gun. This is especially useful on raid due to the double fire rate of AA guns. Anyone trying to defuse your bomb will be easily killed. Most people that play Zeppelin Wars, and uh, haven't watched my crew guide, go after the bomb first, then the pilot. That's a fatal mistake, one which they'll realize only after having their intestines replaced with lead. Most crew will see the bomb, go straight towards it, and try to defuse it. They don't even realize you're there, so you can easily shoot them, and after they respawn, they won't have time to reach either you or your bomb before it explodes. This is so fun to see people fall to their deaths, give it a try. Another good option, especially if the enemy team has a lot of crew, is to use a fuse bomb. You can drop it on this ammo right here, and if the zeppelin is on autopilot, it will glitch between these ammo boxes, where it's unreachable and undefusable. Be careful since it can still be put out with an extinguisher and you can't reach it either. It's an easy two ammo boxes though. Three sticks of dynamite will blow off this walkway, leaving it completely unrepairable. This is just a good tip. If the enemy team has a lot of crew and you can't even use fuse bombs, use dynamite here and just bombard the back tank with torpedoes and light bombs since they won't be able to repair it. When on an AA gun, if you are reloading and don't want your head to explode like a watermelon from that enemy sniper, you can raise the AA guns upwards, which acts like a shield for your head. The bullets that they shoot at you will instead hit the AA gun, and not you. It's just like a mini shield, and if you need time to reload, but you're under fire, it works really well. Standing on the corpses of enemies will grant the bandolier bonus, for some reason. Use this if there's multiple enemies on your zeppelin, and you need a quick stat boost. Remember, you'll get extra fire rate, extra reloading, and extra melee speed. If there's a bomb above the back tank, and your back tank is unreachable, it is better to let that bomb blow up and create an opening above the tank. Now, you might be wondering, bombs blowing up are bad. Why would you want a bomb to blow up? Well, if this bomb blows up, it allows you to reach the tank and repair it. Ah, now you get it. It's pretty handy in tight situations. When using your defensive 2, such as net guns in the Federal, reloading it will mess up any of your other animations. Similar to the other reloading glitches, this will put your gun in weird positions, making it harder to use, since the gun could be stuck through a wall and not allowed to fire. The Retro Net Launcher and Retro Federal do not have a reload animation, so if you have them, use those to override this bug. When on a torpedo bomber and you're being chased by an enemy plane, you can hop out of your plane and into the tail gunner seat to fire back. Your plane will still be flying and you can deal with the enemy plane. Once they're gone, you can jump out and hop back into your plane. This can be difficult to pull off but I'd recommend always moving in the direction your plane is in order to stay above your plane. And also, always be touching the plane so you move with it. If you jump around on it, you will fly off. You may have noticed this before, but I really like hiding behind these cannons. 
The reason I do this is because they provide great cover while reloading and assessing the situation. Hide behind these often to avoid fire from enemies, and to have time to reload. And finally, here are two tips to use on Raid and Skirmish. On Skirmish, you can open an enemy's bay door. Place a bomb on the door, open it, and it can't be defused unless the bay door is closed again. It allows you to get a sneaky bomb off. You don't have to place the bomb all the way at the bottom though, but make sure it's not too far up where it can be diffused through the floor. For Raid, players seeking to kill the captain will usually abandon their plane right above the turret opening. If you're a pirate and near the captain, you will hear their plane clanking against the zeppelin. Whenever you hear this noise, always guard this opening right here. They will come down it and you can easily kill them. These are a couple of tricks I use when I'm decimating enemy zeppelins. If you use these tricks, you will perform better and you will win more matches. Take it from a pro. Thanks for watching uh, this video. Hope you learned something new and I'll see you when I see you.